Chosen for their exploration of adolescence, puberty, and popular culture, these shows are the very best for teens in 2020. Dear Diary, when does this get easier? Sophia's world is slowly falling apart. As we watch her deal with grief, new feelings for her best friend, and these new powers that have come from nowhere, we are reminded that a teenager's life is complex and confusing. It's probably just puberty. Politics isn't about policies. A candidate is elected on a story. Peyton plans to become president. This dramatic comedy delves into the dark world of student politics. Touching on mental health, suicide and teen social pressures, it comes with a trigger warning. I broke up with Peyton tonight. I guess you could say I cheated on him, though it's more complicated than that. What, you think because I went to rehab, I stayed clean? I mean, ain't that the point? Rue is relatively okay. Battling addiction during high school is tough for anyone. Pile on the challenges of adolescence, and this show is an education on the situations young people can find themselves in and how not to deal with them. If I could be a different person, I promise you, I would. The Doctor is a legendary being of remarkable power and an infinite number of faces. Travelling through time and space, a family favourite that touches on social justice, moral reasoning and the effects of being the last of your kind. Sometimes dark, it never fails to keep you guessing. What will the Doctor do next? Certainly not in love enough to find himself standing in it with me! Oh, you spent some time in juvie, now you think you're balling? South Central is super cool. This coming of age story is about a group of friends who are just trying to grow up. Facing poverty, gang violence, police brutality, and homework, they are proving that friendship can save you from almost anything. Please, I don't care what side I'm on. What are you doing? Going online to try and find a girl to date. Sam is getting a girlfriend. This heartwarming comedy follows a senior who just wants to be like everyone else. As we cheer him on in his search for love and independence, we see the world through a young autistic man's eyes. Four types of Antarctic penguins are good. Did you know early explorers thought that they were fish and classified them that way? <laughs> sex, sex, sex. This animated comedy focuses on a group of teens who are beginning puberty. A realistic and sympathetic look at sexual development it has a lot of strong language, nudity, and sex. Leah, you're better than this. No, I'm really not. Oh my God. Hey, it's Hannah. The consequences of an action. Hannah's classmates are faced with the events that led to her suicide, as details of cyberbullying, sexual assault, gun violence, and drug abuse surface. We watch these teenagers unravel as they begin to understand the truth. Everyone is just so nice until they drive you to kill yourself. Not as dark as me. Oh. No one in this family is as dark as me. Every family has its issues. Touching on a wide range of topics, Blackish combines historical fact with trending topics. This middle class African American experience provides a gateway to difficult discussions and shows us the core of their family values. It's about me being darker. Well, it's a a complicated issue, but Diane, all black skin is beautiful. Next, lots of us are now thinking about how we can create less waste from things like plastic bottles. Age appropriate news. Introducing children to current affairs, Newsround has been going strong for over 40 years, sharing stories that affect young people both domestically and internationally. What they call a zero waste lifestyle, and they've got some top tips for us. Now, over to you. Like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe.